Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Meeting Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times again. Now I'm sure that many of you have been to a hotel before, right? They have nice beds, you can jump around, you can go to the pool, there's a big TV. Well, what if there was a special kind of a hotel, not a hotel that's very high or very big, but is very deep in the water where there are sharks, right? So we can have a sleepover with sharks. So there are three different couples, couples are, you know, man and wife, uh, slept with 35 sharks of nine species, nine different kinds of sharks at Aquarium de Paris in France. So many people uh, have been to this uh, shark hotel uh, that has many different kinds of sharks, right? For three nights, from April 11th, they had thrilling nights, very exciting and fantastic in a unique or one-of-a-kind or very special or rare bedroom made with windows. So all around their windows is very unique. Unique means it's something very, very special is very one of a kind. Uh, D Tang, one of the winners, said, I will take advantage of the whole night to watch the sharks. So he will take advantage of the whole night. That means he will not sleep. He wants to enjoy every minute, every second watching the sharks. The guests didn't swim with the sharks. They didn't go in the water. But they stayed in the circular room, in the circle shape, and enjoyed awesome 360 degree views of the surroundings. So they can see all around them 360 degrees. The room was proved safe after extensive experiments in the Mediterranean. So they wanted to know, is this safe, right? Maybe, maybe not a little bit, I'm not sure. But after they did many, many tests, they hit it, they tested here, they put it over here, they tried it with little water, hot water, many different tests. After they said, check, it is proved. It is 100% safe, all right? Fred Bruyel, a world famous free diver, free diver means they don't have machines, they just go to, uh, into the water, showed how people can become sharks friends in the tank. During their stay, the guests were discouraged from taking pictures because of the shark's sensitivity to light. So discouraged means please don't do it. Don't take pictures, right? Uh, put your phone away, only look at them. No more pictures. Why? Because the shark's sensitivity to light. Sensitivity means how much they feel light. So for us, if we see the camera, the flash, then we're okay, right? Our feeling to light is about medium, but the sharks, when they see that same light, they go, it really hurts them and it bothers them, right? So they, sensitivity is very high. They feel it a lot. The vacation rental site where they uh, borrow these rooms, Airbnb, this is the website, launched or started the event in the last week of March. Applicants or people who want to try this were required, they needed the rules, these are the rules, to be older than 18. So you cannot be a young person, you have to be an adult. And lighter than 190 kilograms. So if your weight is uh, 40 kilograms, I'm 65 kilograms, I know I'm very skinny, I can go. But if someone who was very, very big and uh, round, if they were 200 kilograms, they were, then they cannot go. They have to be lighter or lower than 190 kilograms. The couples, the two people, were selected after numerous people, many, many people submitted or you know, gave their applications online by April 3rd. So many, many people tried to do this, but they only selected or they only picked uh, how many people here? Three couples, right? So total six people. Alright, we're gonna go over three review questions. Alright, A. 
What event did Airbnb, the website where you can borrow hotels, launch? When did they start this? The rental site launched this event, started this event, which blanked the guests to sleep over with sharks. So again, guests are the people that are borrowing the hotels, they want to go there, right? And again, many, many people wanted to go. They said, oh, I want to go, so they put an application. Well, not everyone can go, only a few people can go, so they pick only a few people, and that is to say, selected. When we select, when we have many, many candies, and your mom says, select five, then we can only pick five. We're selecting five, all right? B, what couldn't the visitors in the room do? They were discouraged from taking pictures. They cannot take pictures, right? They are blocked from taking pictures. They have no permission to take pictures because of the shark's blank to light. So the sharks, when they see light, they feel it a lot. It's a lot stronger to them. It's a lot more scarier to them. It hurts them sometimes. So we say that is sensitivity. Sensitivity means how we feel it. So who has, what animal has a high sensitivity to smell? What animal can smell very, very well? Well, dogs, right? What animal has a high sensitivity to sounds? They have big ears, right? Rabbits. So sensitivity is how we feel certain things, right? Light, smells, water, feelings, air. C, what were the requirements? What were the rules for the applicants, for the people that want to go? They were required, they needed to be older than 18. So if you're 15, 16, you cannot go. You have to be 18, 19 and above. And blank than 190 kilograms. So we have to be lower than 190 kilograms. And when we're talking about how heavy something is, we say lighter. Okay, so I'm going to give you a question. What fruit is lighter? A lemon or a watermelon, right? The lemon is lighter. It's less kilograms. What animal is lighter? A rabbit or a elephant? right definitely the rabbit is lighter it's less kilograms all right we have three review terms here that we're going to go over now a for three nights from april 11th they had thrilling exciting and fantastic and adventures nights in a blank bedroom made with windows so this kind of a hotel there's not many. There's only, I think, this one hotel bedroom in all of the world, right? So it's very special. We cannot find it anywhere. We can only find it here, right? There's only one. So we say that is unique, where we cannot find it anywhere. We can only find it in one place. So for example, um, the store, McDonald's, is not unique because we see them everywhere we go in almost every country, right? But uh, Lotte, uh, the Namsan Tower is unique because there's only one Namsan Tower in all of the world. We cannot find Namsan Tower in America. It's only in uh, Myeongdong, right? B, the room was blank, safe, after extensive or very, very complete or many, many experiments or tests in the Mediterranean. So before they use this for people, they have to make sure it's safe, right? So after they do many tests, they try hitting it, they want to see how strong it is, how much water it can be, how much we can put in there. After that, they say check, it is 100% or it is proved to be safe. So if we want to prove uh, that, I don't know, that you are happy, then it's kind of hard to do because we can't be 100% sure you are happy, right? But we can prove, are you a girl or are you a boy? That's, we can say you are 100% girl, 100% boy, right? So some things we can prove, 
100%, we can be sure, but some things we really can't be sure. Are you happy? I don't know, maybe we really can't test it, right? So this is something that we can test. C, Airbnb blank, the event in the last week of March. So this event was the Aquarium Sharks event. And this word here, it's very similar to when we shoot a rocket into space. So we have a rocket and we say three, two, one. And when the rocket shoots off, we say that is a launch, right? And similar, just like how the rocket is launching, it's going, we can say that an event is launching. This event is starting, right? So when we launch your birthday event, then that's when we start your birthday party. We're you know, beginning that birthday party. So to review, unique is something that is very, very special. We can only find it in very special places like Namzan Tower. And proved is something that we can test and to make, to see is it 100% yes or 100% no, right? We are proving that with test. And launch is when we're starting an event or when we're beginning an event. All right, so next time you hear about this company Airbnb or a, any special kinds of hotels, I want you to do your research. See if you can take your family and I'm sure if you win, your mother and father and brother and sister, they will be very happy to go with you. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.